All right, question number 57, let's get right into it. So we have let A, B, C, and D be real numbers. Given that AC equals 1, B plus C divided by D is undefined, and A, B, C equals D, which of the following must be true? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start out with something interesting that they give us. Okay, so first of all, these answer choices, one of them, it has to be true, so you have to prove it, okay? Now, the first, well, I would say, I guess, the second or third interesting thing they tell us is that B plus C divided by D equals undefined. So what that means is that D has to equal zero, okay, by definition here, because you only get undefined when you divide by zero. Okay, so if that's the case, um, we also know that AC equals one. And if A plus B plus C equals D and AC equals one, then I'm just gonna have one times B. Whoops. I'm just gonna have one times B here. And that has to equal D. So if B equals D and D equals zero, that means that B has to equal zero, all right? So our, the correct answer is D. Now, another way that we can we can make sure this is correct is let's, let's look at the other answer choices. So if, if A times C equals one, so then C is not equal to zero, right? And if C is not equal to zero and B is equal to zero, this can't be true. What about A equals negative C? So if A equaled negative C, I mean, th there's not really, it, it would we wouldn't get a positive number here okay so like if, if c whatever c is right if a equals negative c um we're, we're not going to get a good value also we're not even going to get one okay so that's out if a equals one and c equals one i mean that could be true right but uh there's no way to know right i mean for all i know c could equal four and a could equal one fourth right that would still give us one so that's out and then a equals zero or c equals zero um, I mean, no, this can't be true because if we're multiplying the two together, we would get zero, not one. So that is out. All right, guys, so the, the only answer choice that would work here and the one that we actually proved is D. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll see you in the next video.